Welcome everybody. This is Bean of the Week, and I have my assistants here today, Cage and James. So they're gonna be helping me with a little of this. I'm gonna check my computer here that I'm monitoring. Here we go. I don't see any. <clears throat> Checking for comments. Oh, I see some people are already coming on. That's great. I have my assistants here. The youngest one is five, Cage, and the older one is James. So I'm glad you guys are watching. <clears throat> I'm trying to watch for comments this time. I've had some issues with being able to see your comments, so I'm trying to watch on my uh, <clears throat> computer screen, but I don't see any comments coming up, so we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, the beans that we're making today are the Rancho Gordo uh, cranberry beans, and they look like this. Here, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see those cute little boys. So there are these kind of beans, and uh, they're a very common bean. I think you can get cranberry beans in the regular grocery store too. So they're not that um, rare of a bean. So, um, hi Rachel, I see your comment, yes. Yes, I have helpers. My grandsons were here for Easter and they spent the night. So they've always wanted to help me make a video. So they're gonna help me a little bit. Right now they're just enjoying seeing themselves on the camera, I think. And then my son, grandson James has uh, access to YouTube, so he's always watching YouTube. Thanks, <clears throat> thanks Rachel. Um, they're always watching YouTube, so they've watched my YouTube videos before and they always enjoy it. So th I think they'll enjoy seeing themselves. If I post this on YouTube, then they'll get to see that too. So the baked beans, I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we're using to make the baked beans and then we'll get started. I think it's good kind of to just get a, a picture in your mind of what we're gonna be using. So you know how in the summertime when everybody's eating burgers and hot dogs and all that kind of stuff and everyone wants a side dish. So I haven't made any traditional New England style baked beans before using the Rancho Gordo beans, but um, I've always kind of wanted to, and I never really saw any recipes that I thought were very good because they would use, you know, they would always have ingredients in there that I didn't want to use or way too much uh, sugar and, and other stuff. And so I just would look at them and go, no, I'm not making that. I'm not making that. Like, for example, I saw, um, I have the Rancho Gordo vegetarian cookbook, and I saw a recipe in here a while back <clears throat> for baked beans, and it said, that it used molasses and a bunch of maple syrup and a bunch of mustard and a whole bunch of tomatoes. And I thought, oh, that doesn't sound good. All that too much sugar, too many tomatoes. And it was just, I didn't like it. Hi Maureen, I do have helpers and so far they're being really good. <clears throat> so I finally found one that I like and the way I found it is I was watching the Rancho Gordo Bean Club Facebook group and somebody had posted a picture of their baked beans. And I said, oh, what baked beans are those? And she said they were in the first newsletter from 2020. So I went back and found it the first, the first quarter of 2020. And I went back and found it. And sure enough, they were on here. New England style baked beans with yellow eye beans. Well, I used all my yellow eye beans <laughs> last week. So I thought, well, I'll use cranberry beans. And I found out that um, for these beans, you can use cranberry beans, yellow eye beans, white beans, Domingo Rojo beans. We could use red beans. So <clears throat> there's all kinds of beans we could use for these. We don't just have to stick with yellow eye beans. So whatever beans you have, feel free to use them in this recipe. But for today, we're using cranberry beans because that's what I had. And I'm only using half a pound. So keep in mind with my recipe that I'm only using half a pound of beans because uh, it's just, there's not very many people eating the beans. It's probably just gonna be me. My husband may have some, but I wanted to make sure I liked the recipe before I made 
If I make something with a pound of beans, that's a lot of beans for me to eat. And the reason I wanted to make the baked beans is because I have, see the birds are going in that birdhouse. I have, I have leftovers from Easter dinner yesterday. I have um, savory tofu roast that is really good with something like this. And then I have deviled potatoes. So I have all these leftovers from yesterday and I thought, oh, those would go really good with baked beans. So let's get started on our baked beans. First of all, I sliced up an onion already. Um, it was half of a large onion and I sliced it really thinly. So as thin as you could slice them, see how thin they are? And I've already got those sliced up. And then I cooked my beans for one hour. So I, I didn't add any seasonings or anything. I just cooked them in a pot, this size pot. It's like a three quart pot for one hour with plenty of liquid. So then I ended up with a bunch of cooking liquid because what I need to do is I need to make kind of a sauce. So, and this is the pot I'm gonna bake my beans in. This is a four quart um, cast iron or Nambalay Crusade pot. If you had a smaller one, like for only um, half a pound of beans, you could use a two quart cast iron or enamel pot if you had one. So that's the smallest one I have is a four quart one. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I think it'll work fine. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bowl and I'm gonna measure out two cups of my bean broth. And I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And it's not, it's kind of a plain bean broth, but remember we're gonna be adding a bunch of different things to it, so it's fine. All right, let me look at my instructions here. Um, <clears throat> oh, I only need one cup of bean broth because I'm, I'm only doing half the recipe, so I'm gonna take a cup of this bean broth out. I don't wanna make it too soupy. Okay. So I only needed one cup of bean broth. Glad I went back and looked at that. And then I'm gonna put all my ingredients in this. So I'm gonna put in the dry mustard. And I only need a teaspoon of this. And if you're making a whole pound of bean, you could double it. Okay, but I'm only making a half pound. So Cage, I'm gonna have you stir things as I put them in. So I'll give you something to stir with. So that was a teaspoon of the mustard powder. I'll get you a big spoon. All right, so when I put things in, you stir for me, okay? And then a tablespoon of tomato puree. And this is just from Trader Joe's. Just stir it around, honey. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> um, you can use canned tomato paste, but this is really handy when you only need a tablespoon of something. All right, stir that around. And I have some tablespoons of tomato paste in the freezer from when I've opened a can and didn't use the whole can, but I wanted to show you this today. And then um, a half a teaspoon of salt. And if you don't want to use salt, you don't have to, but I like to use a little salt in my food. And then I had to take the ingredient molasses and the instructions called for, okay, that's enough, stop now. It called for a third cup of molasses and a half of a third cup of molasses is two tablespoons plus two teaspoons. Okay, so two tablespoons. And I think molasses is a key ingredient that gives it that rich flavor that you associate with baked beans. Two tablespoons. And I'm gonna use my guesstimate here because two teaspoons is like not quite a tablespoon. So I'm not gonna get out, I'm not gonna dirty up another utensil, although I will scrape out this molasses. So that was my two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of molasses. And then the next ingredient is going to be a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. So I'm using turbinado sugar, which I use in place of brown sugar. It's kind of an unrefined raw cane sugar. So that's kind of my substitute for brown sugar. Although you could use regular brown sugar if you really wanted to. 
This is just what I plan to use. My tablespoon is dirty. Wait, wait, here, I think I have uh, an eighth cup, two tablespoons. So I'm going to put that in. So there's my brown sugar and then two tablespoons of maple syrup. And um, we are using real maple syrup as opposed to maple flavored syrup, which that's what we ate, used growing up. We had maple syrup that was kind of like imitation. We used maple syrup this morning on our waffles, didn't we guys? Yeah. So tell everybody what you thought of those almond granola waffles. Did you like them? Yeah. They were good, huh? Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Thank you. Okay, here's our maple syrup. They ate the waffles, except for Cage told me what didn't you like about him? Yeah. You said you didn't like what? He didn't like the nuts. The nuts. Okay, stir it some more. Yeah, he said, Grandma, I don't really like the nuts in here. Okay, but it wasn't really nuts. It was from the granola because I put granola in there. I see Melinda Parton, Susan Thompson, Thompson, uh, Vivian Rubin. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. You can uh, send stars to us by uh, the little thing that says stars enabled. So if you want to send stars, okay, that's good. Then uh, it just, <clears throat> a penny a star, so. Can I use the bathroom real quick? Okay, go ahead, honey. Bathroom break for Chef James. You stay here though. All right, so we've got this mixed up. This is our sauce. In one cup of bean broth, we put our mustard powder, our maple syrup, our molasses, little bit of salt and <clears throat> tomato paste. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna set it aside and now we're gonna take our casserole pan and remember I'm only making a half a pound so if you were making a pound this is probably a good size for a pound but since I'm using only gonna point down here oh, since I'm only using half a pound this is probably a little bit big but it's not gonna hurt anything it'll still cook it these uh, Le Creuset uh, pots, <clears throat> they, and that's the Le Creuset, L-E-C-R-E-U-S-E-T, they conduct heat really well. So the fact that, you know, there's not gonna be a lot in here, I don't think it's gonna make a difference with the Le Creuset pot. Okay, so I'm gonna put half of the beans in my pot, roughly half, and a half a pound of beans, is only about, I'd say three, three or so cups of beans. And then Cage is gonna put some onions on top of the beans. Just grab a big handful, a lot, and just throw them on top of the beans. There you go. So you just toss your sliced onions on top of the beans. That's good. Drop them all in there. Ooh, now you're gonna smell like onions. They asked me earlier why I wasn't crying when I was Peel it, chopping the onions, slicing the onions. But I don't really have a problem with that. Okay, then spread those beans out a little bit for me. With my hands? Yeah, with your hands. He, I made him wash his hands. Just use your hands, they're not hot. There you go, thank you. Okay, that's good. Now put some more onions, not all of them, just a big handful. Can you do something? Okay, I'm gonna let you do the, the liquid here in a minute. Okay, that's good. Now spread them out. Here, let's not try to lose any. They want to do some more videos. I told them we need to make, I have a good recipe for, um, you go wash your hands and James is going to help me with the next part. Okay, James, you can move over here. Okay. So, um, I, there's a recipe that I located. I was looking at recipes, so I was cleaning out my uh, upstairs library room and I ran across some old, old recipes from like, you know, 20 years ago. And I found this recipe for something called Baker's Cookies. And it was um, cocoa powder and oatmeal and all kinds of other stuff. Oh, your shirt, mm -hmm. it changes. So anyway, it was really cool. I thought, oh, you know, I never made that before, but that fits what I eat now. Okay, honey, James needs to sit here now because he's gonna help me. You wanna switch here? Let him sit there and you stand here because he can't get in the picture. You're sitting in his chair. So you come over here and stand, James. 
<clears throat> okay, now I'm and Cage, you get back up in your chair. Now I want you to pour this on top of the beans. Okay. Hold on tight. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour our broth that we made that has the mustard and the molasses and the maple syrup and the salt. And we're just gonna pour it on top of the beans and the onions. Here I have a little bit more. So I'm doing it in two things because my, it didn't all fit in my measuring cup. So I needed a bigger measuring cup. Okay, pour the rest of that on there. So that's, that's it. And then, thank you, James. Then what we're gonna do, I had a little bit left in here. Now, <clears throat> if anyone has a question, okay, Donna says, what great helpers do they like to eat beans or just help you cook? Do you guys like to eat beans? Yeah, I love beans. They love beans. See, they're, they're great. They're great for plant-based grandsons, but they're not plant-based. <clears throat> if they lived with me, they would be, but you know, they eat everything. But, you know, they had their, they had my special waffle this morning and they didn't complain. And their favorite thing to eat is fruit, right? Yeah, they I love, love picky for vegetables. I never, not even broccoli. They like vegetables and fruit. So their mom has been giving them fruit and vegetables since they were little. And even though they've had Easter candy, this morning I gave them a lot of fresh strawberries and they've been munching on the strawberries all day. So they really like fruit, which is great. Uh, let's see if any other questions. Okay, so you see what I have here is I have my four quart cast iron enamel pot and I've got it layered Good. with the beans and the onions and the sauce. Yes, honey. Can I do the next thing? Well, we're all done. So all we have to do now is we're going to put it in the oven. And here's the thing about this is we're going to put it in the oven and it says that it needs to cook for several hours. Well, the woman that posted this on the Rancho Gordo Facebook group she said that she cooked her beans for three hours and they were done and she she made a half a pound so i'm going to say that they're going to take three or three and a half hours in a 250 degree oven and what's going to happen is they've already cooked for an hour remember i cooked them for an hour before i even put them in here i see tina cooper's on hi tina so i'm going to um cook them in the oven for three hours, then I'll probably check them at three hours, of course. And and that's what I'm also gonna do is, I have more bean broth. I didn't throw away my bean broth, so I have some more. And I'm gonna keep it by the oven. And if they start to dry out, I'm gonna add just like a fourth of a cup of bean broth, not too much, because you want it to reduce. So don't throw your bean broth away. Add it, you know, check it, and it, it cooks covered. So I'm gonna just stick this whole thing in the oven at 250 degrees, and it's probably gonna take three and a half to four hours. And the baked beans will get really soft, and I think the cranberry beans seem like they're already getting a little softer than I thought they would. So we'll see how this turns out. This may not have been the best bean to use for baked beans. The yellow eye beans were the ones they recommended, but then I've seen other recipes that say, you know, like the one in the vegetarian cookbook, they mentioned all these other kind of beans, and the classic bean for uh, baked beans has always been like a navy bean. See, they recommended cranberry or yellow eye beans, so that's why I picked cranberry. So, I've, but I've seen baked beans with all kinds of beans, and I wouldn't, be surprised that here you want to come up here I wouldn't be surprised that you couldn't use um, any kind of red bean so I think the idea is use whatever bean you have and just we're just gonna bake it cook it for an hour in on the stove top save the liquid because that becomes your broth and then we're gonna bake it okay see if there's any questions before we wrap up so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Get these in my 250 degree oven and then when they're ready when they come out from three and a half hours then i'm going to do another quick video later today where i'll show you the finished beans and we'll see how they turn out and i'll put them on my plate tonight with my uh, deviled potatoes and my savory tofu roast and um, 
you know, some other leftovers I have from Easter dinner. Some Oh, I have hummus and vegetable sticks and all kinds of other stuff. So I'll, I'll plate all those things up. The boys just had smoothies. So they had um, strawberry, blueberry, banana smoothies. I didn't put all my stuff in the smoothies because mm -hmm. I don't think they would have liked it with all the amla and matcha tea yeah. and stuff. Yes, honey? What is that sound? What sound? Oh, it's the oven. It's the oven. That's the sound. Okay, so we're going to sign off. And my assistants were very helpful today. James and Cage. James is seven. Cage is five. They're both going to be six and eight here in the next couple of months. So I'm sure we'll have a nice party for them here this year, maybe. We'll see how things are. But um, they spent the night. They had a good time. They've been playing like crazy and they've been actually very well behaved and good helpers. So hopefully they'll spend the night again soon. All right, well, thank you all. And I will uh, post the rest of the recipe and come back in about three hours and show you the finished beans. I think these beans will be great for the summer, for barbecues, for taking places. And I'm sure there's a way you can do it like in a crock pot or something too, if you don't wanna mess with doing it in your oven. So I'm sure um, somebody can find that if you did a little searching. But for now, we're gonna use the cast iron enamel pot in the oven. Uh, Diane says, thank you, going to start mine now. Okay, great. I hope yours turn out good. What kind of beans are you using? Let me know in the comment sections what kind of beans you all are using for your beans. And uh, I'll see you back here in about three and a half hours. Say, say bye to everybody, guys. Bye, bye. You've been great helpers. All right, bye, everybody.